everybody, it's Michelle here with Angel Souls. This is our daily angelic message for March 20th, 2024. Please share these with people, okay? If you find that this content is valuable, because the messaging that we do here, we do angelic messaging. And the more people, I mean, you could take this any way you want. Do this with any person who has a genuine message and you like that message. Get that out there because that, the more people get on board and hear this stuff and start thinking and start changing their way of approaching things or, you know, discovering, hey, you know, someone is on my side or someone does understand me. You know, we might be able to make some change here if you share it, okay? If you don't like it, well, then there you go. You don't have to do any of that, right? You're off the hook. So today we have Spark. The number is 34. Go back and look at the weekly, the last daily. You know, this is trying to recapture the spark of life, that inspiration, the motivation. And you might find yourself going, oh my gosh, you know, I have been so wound up over day-to-day -day things. As I've said before, you know, I've given up on a lot of my passions because I've been in survival mode and it has been awful, okay, with no support, no support because my lot in life is to show up here and support everybody else, right? So like a lot of that, like I, I'm around a lot of people who don't know me and people that are supposed to be close to me who don't know me, right? Because we're not usually talking about what's going on for me. We're talking about what's going on for them. And I've had some massive life changes happening recently. Massive. And we don't talk about it. We just don't talk about it because it takes away from their story. It takes away from them needing energy, right? So this spark card to me is saying somehow we're adjusting that. Somehow we are correcting that. And that means you have every right to preserve your energy for you. You have every right to get your distance from people who just want to take your energy and not support you, not really care about what's going on for you. And they just got to always bring the conversation back to them. How many of you have someone, and maybe it's a coworker, a family member, friend, even a love partner who will sit there and hold you captive? <laughs> like sometimes I've had people do this to me for hours. Now you might say, well, that's your fault, Michelle, for not getting up and walking away. In these cases, these were dangerous people that if I did that, they might actually try to harm me. Yes, yes, that happened. So yeah, I sat there and I just dealt with it. But, um, you know, if you've ever had somebody sit there and they take the most mundane things in their lives, not interesting to anybody except them, and they will talk about it probably for an hour, let's say an hour. And then you go, yeah, well, I can relate because I went through da 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 We're not talking about you. Oh my God, she's so rude. Did you hear her interrupt me? But, uh, you're a, you're a nonstop talking puppet. Like, are you, are you joking? Right. Uh, or if something good happens to you and it's like, oh, okay. Yo, yeah. All right. <laughs> anyway, I was saying like, I, you know, I, this thing that I've talked about 20 million freaking times, can you believe they said that to me? Can you believe that I was treated that way? Can you believe, can you believe, can, meanwhile, the person over here, there is such a thing, I, again, I heard this um, on social media one time, and I wish I could remember the creator's name. I don't, though. But I remember it was put so beautifully. She said, you know, that's the drowning friend. That's the person who is going through things that most people don't survive. And they've done it. And they've been so strong and so strong and so strong. And people have been so greedy with their energy and so self-centered and self-indulgent. That when that person finally has nothing left to give, God forbid if they go to the darkest place, the darkest place, some people do, or they just have to break away from everybody to recharge because they've, they've learned a long time ago that people are not going to support them. That if they try to do that, maybe that vulnerability is going to be used against them. Or maybe someone's going to change the subject and all that's going to do in that moment is crush them even further that, you know, what they suspected was true, that people don't really care about other people. They're going to get, you know, confirmation on that and it's going to drag them down further. So I'm okay speaking to a small audience. I'm okay with that because if you are truly one of the people 
that I'm describing. You are the drowning friend. You are the one that nobody listens to. Or if you do try to speak up for yourself, you're made out to be this villain. I'm with you. And guess what, honey? This is for you. This is for you. You're going to find your love of life again. Because we're taking no fucking shit anymore. We're taking no shit. If you had your kids watching this, I do apologize for the language, but it needs to be said that way. We're not taking it anymore because we don't have to. Because guess what? Without us, they crumble. That army we talk about, it's us. And when we step away, they won't know what to do. We get to love our lives. We get to preserve our energy. We get to defend that energy. You have every right to do that. So you can do your things. Make sure you're doing it in the highest good of all and with love, always with love. But you have every right to protect your energy. Archangel Michael can help you with that. You have a right to take a day off. You have a right to sit back and just devote a day to your spiritual practice, whatever that is for you, whatever makes you feel good and charged up, but not charged up in the sense of, okay, then I'm going to go back and everyone can start taking advantage of me again. No, no, it's for you. Now, in so doing, you're going to find that people are falling away. If they do, it's a blessing. But let's leave it there for now. I'm sending you my love and you take care and I'll see you tomorrow.